Greetings everyone, my name is LG, welcome back to Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII for the PlayStation 3. Let's continue our journey where we left off. We are in uh, hmm, this city, to be honest I was not able to memorize its name. And uh, let's continue the story uh, here, we are after snow and uh, let's see what happens. It's locked, can I force it? That might be beyond even you. Hold on a second. I'll see what I can do from here. Hmm. There's a lot of chaos building up back there. Yes, indeed. And Snow's inside. Or whatever's left of him. Well, he has been living without hope for centuries. Now the world's about to end. He might have lost his mind entirely. If it were anyone else, I'd say that was a given. Do you think it could have gotten to him, though? Broken even his spirit? I hope not, but... <gasps> Light! You've been spotted! You've gotta get out of there, now! After coming all this way? I'm his last chance, damn it. I know what he's going through. The pain of losing Sarah. That's true. If there's anything left of Snow, as the savior, you're the only one who can rescue him. That's why you have to protect yourself. If you're killed, it really will mean the end of the world. And then who can you save? All right, fine. Take me back to the Ark. Hold on. So she'll understand his pain? She thinks she's going to save his soul? Would you listen to this nonsense? Ugh, God turns her into the savior and it all goes straight to her head. <laughs> oh, nice. So this is our uh, new type of uh, loading screen here. Uh, we have a lot uh, to talk about, but not now. I'm, I'm really sure that uh, this uh, loading screen won't be enough to talk about uh, uh, why is it uh, the end of the world and what is this arc? Once upon a time, I committed a terrible sin. It happened long ago, in a past that I cannot change. I was fighting a war that never ended. I thought I was saving the world, and I needed help. So I turned to Sarah, the only family I had. She was my younger sister. I sent her to her death. I knew what I did could not be forgiven, but I prayed that someday it could be undone. Dreaming of the day I might bring her back, I fell into a long sleep. It was a sleep as dark as death. The centuries passed, and each one seemed like an eternity, until... One day, the light touched me. I knew what it was. It was God himself, speaking to me. All-powerful, all-knowing, ruler of the world and sky above, Bonavelza. The light was his voice, and I felt warmth on my skin as it spoke. He told me what I had to do. I would be his servant, and if I succeeded in doing his bidding, my reward would be a miracle. He said she would live again. My sister, Sarah, and I'd have her back at last. And so I was chosen by God to rescue lost souls and guide them past the end of this world and into the next. I became the savior.
Light, there's something I want to tell you. Something I think you have to hear. It'll take some explaining, so when you have the time, come and talk to me. Alright, so I promised uh, some explanation. Why is this the end of the world? We talked about uh, chaos and um, when uh, when he was uh, escape when he escaped uh, from uh, Valhalla, uh, it created uh, some uh, anomalies and uh, some disturbance in in time. And uh, yeah, because of that, uh, there the future changed. I've got something important to discuss with you. Please okay, you okay, hope. Shush. Be, be quiet, I'm trying to explain what's going on here. Wow. This is a nice place. So, and and uh, that's why uh, at, at that time Sarah and uh, Noel was uh, traveling between times to serve those uh, paradoxes. And um, yeah, at the end uh, they weren't uh, completely... Uh, uh, completely successful. Let's say it like that. And uh, ooh, I've got something I have a lot of items here uh, to, to, when you to have check. So that's why uh, we have uh, we have a big problem here. And what is this arc? Uh, in uh, 400 AF, uh, after after we solved uh, the paradox with um, Sarah and uh, Noel, uh, Hope decided to create an arc. And uh, to create uh, uh, something to hold cocoon at uh, at its uh, at its place, and this is uh, the arc. Uh, at least that's uh, that's what I think. So let's go and uh, talk with uh, with Hope. Uh, what do you want to tell me, Hope? Hello, Lightning. Welcome home. Hope, as time, once long ago, we fought side by side. Bound by a common destiny. He was just a boy then, kicked around by fate, scared and angry. But we became friends, and then he grew up. He was going to be humanity's great leader, the one who'd lead us all to a brighter future. But it didn't work out the way any of us expected. A lot of things changed during my long sleep. When I woke, the Hope who I'd seen become a man was a boy again. He was up here, in lonely command of the Ark. And this was where he told me about God's plans for the two of us, and the world. Bunevelza, God of Light, has made a decision. The gates are open and chaos has flooded through, consuming the world and everything in it. Not even God can stop it, and he isn't going to try. Instead, he's going to build a brand new world. But he needs people to live in it. What would be the point of a world without souls? That's where you come in, Light. You're the last piece in the puzzle. You're the savior. It's a simple role. You have to rescue as many people as you can from this world and lead them to the new one. It's an incredible opportunity. You can bring salvation to hundreds, maybe thousands. In return, you'll get your chance to bring Sarah back. A deal, huh? I scratch God's back and he gives me what I want. My sister. He's giving you a chance. No guarantees. I know it isn't right using your sister, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? God is using my dead sister as a bargaining chip. Something like that should infuriate me to no end. But for whatever reason, I don't feel angry. It's like there's a hole where she used to be. I think I know what you mean. I'm the same way. It all happened such a long time ago. I remember it clearly, but the feelings, they're gone. Maybe that's how God wants it. Maybe emotions and his servants just distract us from what we're supposed to do. So he got rid of them for us. Maybe he did, and maybe returning me to childhood was part of his plan too. But we can't expect to understand everything he does. Of course I had to accept God's deal. What choice did I have? It was my fault that Sarah died. 
If the only way I could save her was by doing God's will, so be it. With Hope Estime to guide me, I began my holy mission. Liberating the souls of the living from a dying world, and ushering them into a new one. The Savior. Servant of mighty Benevelza himself. Light? Light, what's the matter? What is it? Are you alright? I'm fine, just reminiscing. Five hundred years ago, chaos was unleashed, and our world began to be consumed. Five short centuries. That's what it took to destroy all of creation. Now there's barely anything left at all. And when the Savior has used all her light, the bells will toll and the world will end. Is that what you told me? Yes. But when that time comes, Benevelza will finally awaken, and he'll bend his great will to create a new world. Right. And in the meantime, I've got some souls to save. Yes, as many as you can. Remember, every soul you leave behind will be lost for all eternity. I've got something important to discuss with you. Please talk to me when you have a chance. Hmm. What do you else? Uh, is this a, a new god? Uh, meanwhile, let me go and uh, try to uh, open these uh, boxes. Uh, Mist wizard. Mm, some some items we have here and equipment. Blizzard level one. Oh, well, really? I will. I will receive a new knowledge new abilities by opening this the stuff that's a uh, that's a bit uh, weird uh, I don't really uh, know if I like it or not Ooh! all right we have a, a tutorial customizing uh, schema learn about how you can customize your schema to, uh, equip and abilities of course I want to take it because I don't know you are now able to customize your schema the schema is a set of garb equipment and abilities that lightning can uh, switch to change tactics in battle select customize uh, schema to continue mm, it wasn't here before alrighty when customizing schemata, you can create a new schema or edit and adjust uh, existing schemata. Oh, I will just call them schema. Uh, it's it's kind of weird for me. Uh, select a create new schema to create one of the three main schema that uh, lightning can access in battle. Okay, I have the savior, dark muse, and an empty slot. Alright, uh, start by selecting the garb uh, which uh, will be the base of the schema. Each garb has its own garb abilities uh, set to it. These abilities will raise lightning's parameters higher than the battle abilities alone can. Once you have decided uh, on a garb, you should consider your choice of equipment. Well, to complete uh, the parameters uh, gain it provides... Okay. Uh, I can only choose this uh, Mist Wizard. Hmm. Okay. Next, you should select the weapon you would like to equip. Weapons, um, depending on the variety, can have the following effects parameter strength, magic, and stagger capacity. Capabili capability. Oh, yeah. Select your weapon to enhance uh, physical damage, magical damage, and staggering dependent on the strategy you want to use uh, with this schema. Okay, I have uh, three, three stuff: crimson blitz, strength, ooh, 130, magic 130, plus five. Uh, more the more magic on this. Yeah, Devil's Daughter. It will be. It will be okay. Next, you will select a shield to protect lightning. Shields, depending on the variety, can have the following effects on lightning's 
uh, parameters, increasing HP, ATB replenishment and guarding ability. Decide uh, how you would best like to depend, um, defend yourself in battle. Whether you will seek to lessen damage by guarding or boost your HP to reduce the need to guard. Choose your shield wisely. Okay, this one increases maximum HP with a lot. Woo! It will be speed, guard defense, maximum HP. Hmm. This seems to be a good uh, defending uh, uh, stuff, but I kind of want, uh, kind of want uh, this to be a fast. Uh, yeah, yeah. Double cross. This item is equipped. Eh. Okay. So let's do with the basics. Finally, you must select uh, the abilities that will be set to the garb. You can choose uh, which button to map and different, map different abilities to and you can change the buttons used for garb abilities as well. Select the free button slot and set your abilities. Okay, so Thunder is set to circle and uh, whoa, abilities can be sorted into four different uh, four categories. Physical attacks, magic, guarding, debuffs and uh, the ability abilities that inflicts status ailments on enemies okay you can switch between categories uh, okay so okay this is uh, this is all I think and uh, I kind of want uh, to put a uh, uh, blizzard no Blizzard level one. When you are done uh, creating your schema, press uh, press done. But I kind of want uh, to guard light guard level one. And this uh, I don't know. It seems that I can uh, only use one ability and a one uh, hmm uh, one schema. So yeah, let's let's be done with it. Now select which slot uh, you wish to have your newly created uh, schema. Okay, and this one. You have set a new schema. If you select one of your main. Ooh, nice. Uh, nice uh, stylist. If you select uh, one of your main uh, uh, schema using the square and set it as the default schema, you will change the schema that lightning appears in outside the battle. This will also change the schema that uh, she appears in uh, when battle begins. Whenever you receive new garb equipment or abilities, uh, try equipping them to your schemata to improve lightning's fighting capabilities. Okay, this was a uh, kind of long, and uh, hmm, but at least uh, we have now three different uh, schemas. It's really cool. It's really cool. Uh, delete schema, switch, uh, blah, 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 blah. okay, how can I, how can I escape, alrighty, that's it, the EP ability escape has been, you have unplugged EP abilities, learn how to utilize EP abilities during battle, examine the bookshelf and uh, change the Zaltist again, what? Where's the bookshelf? There's the bookshelf. Uh, what can I do here? Oh, what is this? No, I don't want to examine. This is the bookshelf. That is the Book of Conquests, an ensorcelled tome. It draws on your memories to recreate foes that you have previously defeated, so you can fight them again. Oh, okay. A Book of uh, Conquests. A useful book that we'll find uh, on the Ark is the Book of Conquest, a record of the highest battle scores uh, received from all the enemies Lightning has fought and defeated. Examine the book to activate these records and uh, you will be able to challenge these fallen enemies again and again. When you have uh, 
all the world uh, service is activated, you will be able to pause your battle scores online. With this Facebook app, you can compare battle scores and check out accumulated status from other players, compete with uh, friends and see who is the best battler. Okay, uh, I could uh, fight with uh, uh, Zoltist uh, again, but nah, I don't want to. Uh, what else uh, do I have here? I have uh, this stuff, let's examine it. You must complete all tasks in the Ark in order to activate uh, the warp. Uh, what else uh, can I do? I can sit down here, I'm really sure that I can. Oh no, I cannot sit down. Why not? Why not? Okay, I have to talk with Hope. Yeah, I don't want to talk uh, too much uh, because I don't want to bore you guys. So let's go and uh, let's continue. As long as you're here, you're safe. You can rest and not worry about what's happening in the world below. When you're in the Ark, time ceases to flow for anyone but us. Is that all God can do? He can stop the flow of time up here, but he's helpless to prevent the world from being destroyed. Yes. In 13 days, God will reawaken. It'll all be over then, and no power in the universe can stop it. But the problem is, the world may have even less time than that. It doesn't happen at the same time? It should, but the world has been weakening rapidly under the onslaught of the chaos. The pace of the destruction is accelerating. Your problem is, if the world ends too soon, you won't have enough time to save all the souls you can. You have to delay the end for as long as possible. Now listen carefully, Light. What I'm going to tell you is very important. As the Savior, you have a special life force. I call it Aradia. It's the power of God's light. It gives you your powers. And much more. If you offer your life force, this Aradia, you can give energy to the world and delay the final destruction for a while. I can delay the destruction, but not avoid it forever. When God wakes after the 13th day, the world is screwed whatever I do. But what does it matter how many days are left? The end stays the same. Why not keep the Aradia for myself? Because if you did that, and the world ends before the 13th day, God will deem that you have failed. Then what will happen to your bargain? Will he still deliver on his promise if he believes that you failed to deliver on yours? Right, the bargain. In other words, if I don't keep the world alive for 13 days, I don't save Sarah. And not just Sarah either. The entire human race might be lost. So do you see, Light? Aradia is the key. You have to gather as much of it as you possibly can. And the way you do that is by saving people's souls. So that's what I've got to do. Save souls so that I can save Sarah. Yes, exactly. Remember how much snow has changed? Here at the end of the world, there are many people like him caught in the grip of despair, their hearts shackled by regret and longing. If you reach out and help them with their troubles, you can break those shackles. Then their souls will be released. They'll be free to be reborn in the new world, and in return, your savior life force will grow. So that's what he wants. Rescue as many souls as I can before the world ends and takes humanity with it. My mission. Alrighty, uh, Eradia. Hmm, this is a, a strange idea, by the way. Uh, this world cannot be saved, so that's why creating a new world uh, and uh, um, saving as much uh, people as we can. That will be our task in, um, in this game, and uh, like that, uh, we will be able to save Sarah, maybe. And uh, the god, by the way, I did not know that uh, there are more gods. I remember that uh, we had... Uh, ooh. Oh, I wanted to, uh, to tell her name. What was uh, the, the name of, uh, of the god? Oh, well, never mind. Maybe uh, next part uh, I will be able to remember it. Because uh, I think uh, I will end uh, the episode here and we will continue from here next time. I would like to thank you all for watching and please uh, don't forget to leave your summons. Summons? 
comments down below and let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel about what happened in this episode. And if you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up, it really helps out a lot. And if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, then please do so. It would be really cool to see you in the team. Next part of Lightning Returns will come really soon. Goodbye.